to Sacred Heart College, a place of learned scholars, supreme athletes, and pretentious teachers. Today, we have six of our greatest sporting captains in line for your entertainment. Kick it off with Marty Cup. It was the first date in the A final for how many years? 56 years. What was the feeling around camp? Oh, I mean, that had been our goal the whole season to get into that A final, and when we did it was just fantastic. I mean, the night we got in was a Thursday night, it was twilight, and it was just unforgettable. Amazing. What has rowing done for you personally? Yeah, well, apart from helping me lose a bit of weight, I, uh, you know, I've gained some great friends, made some great friendships and had some great model, role models to look up to and uh, also had some uh, great coaches who have been coached by. Logistically, where do you see rowing hitting at SAC in future years? Well, I mean, we've got to the, that sort of plateau, we've got into the Marty Cup A final. I suppose the next goal for us should be to get the Marty Cup. That's the next thing and I think we can do it. Sean, thanks for your time. Cheers, Nick. And thank you, Sacred Heart, for making me a better man. Enough of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Choose the balls, man. Okay. Pick me. Well, I'm here with Nick Smith, who's the Sacred Heart tennis captain for 2010. And Nick, you've had a pretty successful season this year. Uh, what's the secret? Well, Sean, I'd have to say it was uh, the, the talent of our youth players that have come to the squad. Joe Collins, Lars Tolhurst, Tim Healy, Rhett Purcell, the new boy from England. I mean, they've just done wonders for our team, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. Okay, cool. So, on a personal level, what's, what has tennis at Sacred Heart done for you? Over the years, well, I played I played tennis all my life, but I mean, playing at NHC, it's given me something to play for. Every time I put the badge on, you know, I just feel special, and I, I want to perform to the best of my ability. So yeah, that'd be it. Cool. And uh, where do you see tennis at Sacred Heart uh, going in the future? As I said, I mean, our youth players—they've just done wonders for the team, and as long as we can just keep getting those youth players, youth players through the school. Uh, hopefully we'll be sitting in A1 next year, so uh, I mean, as long as we can keep it going through, that'll be great. Cool, cheers mate. Cheers Sean, thanks. Second spot. Ready? 
bus and telling it to Bob. the umpire as well! Dang it, Fred! That's why you picked me. Well, we're here with current First Eleven cricket captain, Fred Clarkson. So, Fred, you've been playing cricket at Sacred Heart for quite a long time. What can you tell me about the youth coming through the Cricket Institute? Well, there's the Sports Institute that's been uh, going, been running for about three years now. Mm. And uh, it's very promising. A lot of young guys coming through, and you'll see that in the Sacred Heart First Eleven squad for this year and the, and the kids trialling for the carnival, there's a lot of young year 9 and 10s from there which is really good. Cool, and uh, what have you been your highlights for playing cricket at Sacred Heart? Well over the three seasons that I've been playing I'd probably have to say the game against Westlake, a uh, two day game where we beat them which is uh, very good for this college and mm. really happy and I bet you Miss Dale was even more happy about that game being in his old school. Mm. Cheers Fred, and do you mind if I have one of those daisies? Uh, no, those those collection, that's what we try and do with the cricket, so, no. Alright, cheers Fred for your time. See you later. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Right now, mate, I'm doing my lap. Yeah, give me a kiss. And I swim the ocean for you, the ocean for you. Whoa, can I So Luke, uh, what do you think the main highlight was for your season? Uh, my main highlight, not only this season, but my whole time to figure out Waterfall, um, has to be that national victory. Um, to win a national title in any sport is outstanding, um, but here at Sacred Heart we've got a legacy with Waterfall. Uh, we've won it five times and to win in 2010 was just the best. Alright, and so what do you think was your... I don't know, what, what do you think it's done personally for you over the years? Personally, I think it's done two things. I think it's taught me how to be a, a, a better leader uh, and a better coach. Um, I've coached water polo, junior water polo at school for four years now, and I feel that I've learned all my coaching abilities from Sacred Heart. Also a leader, I've been captained by um, Aidan Cornhill and Nielsen Brewery. Just great captains, great water polo players, and they just they're outstanding mentors to me. And uh, so do you think Sacred Heart can maintain being the best water polo school in the future? Oh, in the definitely, field? definitely. That, that, young, that young group of boys we have in the senior team at the moment just really, really carried us. I mean, you got Matt Lewis, John Boyce, Braden, mm. Darcy Tim. I mean, just outstanding players that are always willing to practice and learn. Um, I definitely think a legacy for Sacred Heart would to win it three times in a row, which I think those boys are capable of. Oh cool, um, that's great to hear. Um, and cheers for your time. Uh, Luke, get back to your training or whatever you're doing. Cheers, sure, thanks. This is just absolutely ridiculous. This is ridiculous! crazy psych-out methods before games and gym sessions. You care to show us what they are? Man, I'm in a zone. 
Yeah, I show you. Let's go. Yeah. I'm a man. Yeah. I'm a man. Who wants me? Who wants me to Yeah? I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Boss. Yeah. Yeah. Boss, see, that's free my shit, baby. Yeah. Whoa. Let me get shot. Alright Jordan, great year for you mate. Do you mind giving us a rundown on some of the achievements you guys accomplished as a team? Yeah, uh, this year uh, was, a, was a fine season but uh, you know we knew we could have done better uh, but uh, you know what happened happened and uh, just uh, this year we're proud of Shima was uh, playing against Kings even though we didn't come up with the result that we, uh, that we intended but you know everyone went out there and played their hearts out. So that was one of the big achievements uh, the, this year, and, uh, and then just every game really is a big achievement. You know, coming close to to teams, but uh, just not just that urge to push yourself and get there. Uh, you know, that's that's what we lacked on this year. But you know, yeah, right, yeah. So uh, what's rugby done for you as an individual? Uh, it's actually done a lot for me as an individual. Uh, it's opened up new doors, like coming to Sacred Heart, which was a uh, which is a great. Great, uh, great choice for me to come here. It's you know, um, learned a lot, and uh, it's pretty much opened up uh, other other, other um, opportunities like Auckland, playing for Auckland, representing Auckland, and also representing the school. Yeah, right. and, uh, yeah, just just awesome. Good stuff, man. Hey, um, where do you see rugby at Sacred going in the future years? Oh, I see it going oh, a long way. You know, just um, you know, just now, you know, it's building up with the sports institute, seeing all the little kids uh, training and all. And uh, you know, working uh, up, um, you know, building up to for the better of the future of Sacred Heart, and you know, bettering, uh, bettering their school, their skills, and also uh, better, bettering uh, themselves for uh, for the future team in the future times. But you know, I, I can see it going a long way uh, if uh, they just uh, slip forward and uh, push themselves um, as hard as they can, and that they can get the extra mile. You know, uh, the future for Sacred Heart is just the beginning. You know, it's just it's just starting. Well, we've come to the conclusion of our Sports Awards uh, video tonight and unfortunately we were unable to interview Mr. Dale and Mr. Penfold. They were both off uh, having a double mocha frappe latte decaf at Starbucks on Mission Bay. Uh, but the next best thing, we have Sports Prefect Nick Smith who's just going to give a bit of a conclusive statement about sport at Sacred Heart. Yeah, g'day all. Uh, I hope you've had a, a lovely night and uh, basically just on behalf of uh, the sport of the college, my fellow sports prefect Jordan Payne coming by tonight, suffered a uh, back spasm. But uh, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody at the college for just the great opportunities you've given us over, the, over our time here. Um, couldn't have asked for anything more and I mean we'll take this forever in our lives and we'll remember it forever playing with the playing with the crest on and just playing for the school so thank you thank you very much and uh, have a great night